What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about data operations, and we're going to talk about the select data operation. So, what does select do? Select allows you to take data from your sort of payloads of sort of from your JSON and then you can manipulate that and then map that into different things. So it's a really powerful tool, especially if you want to manipulate something to then um, maybe create like a full name, for instance, from a from a record where you're getting first and last name separately. So let's take a look at that. We're in Microsoft Flow. We can, if you've seen one of my last videos uh, about parsing JSON and initializing variables, um, we're doing the same thing again. So we've got an array that's coming in the form of JSON here. So we've got two records that are uh, Dean Herb and uh, Keith Taylor. Then what we are doing is we're parsing that JSON again with something I've shown in the last video uh, with that information. And now we're going to add the select step in. So click new step. We go to built in, data operations, and we scroll down to select. From here, we're going to choose where we are actually getting the information from. So in this instance, I'm going to take it from the parse JSON step, and then we can add in some mappings. So the map, I'm going to call it uh, full name, and the value we can see we've got this, uh, the dynamic content on the right, and we're going to choose first, because that's the first name, and put a space in, and we'll choose last. Uh, put a space in, choose last. So up here in the variable, we can see that we're getting first is the first name, and last is the last name. So when we're parsing the JSON, we're getting those two rows of data back, and then we can, uh, or columns of data back, sorry, and then we can do stuff that with do stuff with that in the select statement. So we're saying we want to make a full name from first and last. So I'll choose test. Well, I'll perform the action. We'll run the flow. Click done. And then we come down here and see it's put the inputs in. It's taking the whole JSON payload that we've got. And then we can see that the output is we've got full name, Dean Herb and Heath Taylor. So you could do loads of things with this. You could um, like you could bring through other records as well. So you could map email address to email. This would be particularly useful later because then you could use those select statements to then populate other things. So um, so you could like populate other other records with these details and and have like a good naming convention. So when you're getting this information back from your your API or wherever you're getting your JSON payload from, you could then um, manipulate that sort of concatenate it, strip it down, do certain things, and then put that into other fields. I think that's a really useful feature of Microsoft Flow and something I'm definitely going to be using in the future. What do you guys think? Do you Will you be using this sort of thing in the future? Have you used Select before? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, please share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.